Yo, what's the word, YouTube? It's your boy King Clay and this motherfucker, man, back with another tutorial. You know what I'm saying? Today we got a little low tape on my boy J JP, JP3. My nigga right here, man. You gonna see us chopping it up in this video, man. Shit, I'm really, I'm really getting, you know what I'm saying, getting used to these tutorials. Like, I'm still trying to find the camera angles and shit, you know what I'm saying, all that shit. Like, it's still kind of hard, and my setup ain't really set up yet, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? I really ain't got too, too much. I just moved in about a week ago, but, yeah, so I always like to, you know what I'm saying? If your hair pass, like, three, three inches, like, you know what I'm saying? I like to put it in a rubber band, for real, for real. I don't like clamping it up there. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like we falling too much, but yeah. So we're going to go in with the babblers, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and close that up. I make like a little circle line. Like, I can't really explain the line I be making, but yeah, like, you know, you can see it. We go up, I open it up some, you know what I'm saying? I'm speeding it up because I know y'all don't want to be through this, but I open up the level, go up about a half an inch, you know what I'm saying? I close it as I come down. You know, just giving it a little burst. Don't worry about that hair behind there. We coming to get that right now. Put that one on there. I like to go with the green and with the one. You know what I'm saying? On the low tape. You know what I'm saying? But shit, go up a little bit. You know, sometimes the hair don't come off, so you got to go the other way. But I always like the finish coming down. You know what I'm saying? So I got the guard. I got the one open on there. Open. You know what I'm saying? Just hitting all that boat, getting that down. Like, I don't really like to have my shit too, too thick. Like, unless the client prefers it. You know what I'm saying? I try to make the cuts last, so I try to make it a, you know, a good thick, not too thick, but you know what I'm saying? Not where it's like, you know, it's too thin. So, yeah, as you can see, this, this is the lowest we're going to cut that, that down so you can see the C cup and everything, you know what I'm saying? Just getting it all faded. Got some of my music playing in the background, you know what I'm saying? The tutorials, I'm going to be dropping unreleased shit. Uh, so we put that one and a half guard on there. And what I like to do with one and a half guard, I like to start with it closed first. Yeah, starting with it closed first, give me like that. Like, I don't know, get rid of that bottom line and it just helped me to, you know what I'm saying, open up and see it. Like, starting with it open really don't do too much for me. As you can see, I took it off. Time to clean up. Clean up, you know what I'm saying? Clean up all of this. I, I, count how many times I said, you know what I'm saying? Everybody tell me I say that a lot. Just count out how many times I said it. I know I said it probably like 30 times already. I know y'all probably like this nigga. But yeah, so we just clean it up before we move on to the next side. You can see we got it pretty taped up. You know? Ain't all the way finished, but... And then I take I take the trimmers just to give it like a little ball line. Like I can't explain it. It just make it look cleaner. Like when you when it's like real ball at the very very bottom of it. And now we are moving on to the back. Like I said, close. It. It's really the same thing, but you ain't working around and like we just we fading everything around here. But the side we just really fade in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Letting the top part be kind of thick. But yeah, so. Start off with it closed, then I open it up, go up about a half inch, you know what I'm saying? He really ain't got too much room to work with back here, so he just really just, yeah, I'm just really just gonna let it play out, you know what I'm saying? Listen to the music in the back. But yeah, I think I put the uh, one on there. Yep, put the one guard on there, and just getting all that hair out. Just debulking everything. But yeah, back tape is really simple. Like, I really just use the one guard, the half guard, and then open close. It's never complicated though. Oh, we finished the back side. Now we just clean it up. You know, you want to line up the little bird, so you know that's why that's why I'm you know, fading the bird into the uh, fade. I like to line that little bird up, man. That's my dog right here, though. I ain't gonna lie. We be chopping it up. We be talking about everything. You see, I put my alcohol and my spritz on the towel. It's just gonna lay everything down. Like, I put it on his face, you know, just lay the beard down, you know, the lining down, of course, you know. It's gonna give it that ash look versus if they want it natural or not, you know. But it also helps hold the enhancements down as well. You know, we still gonna spray holding spray, but it helps just like allow the enhancements not to drip off or, you know, whatever. And it just give you a clean canvas, you know, you, the alcohol cleans it and then the spritz just lays it down and holds it there. That way you can get a nice crispy line and you bring all the hairs to the front. Mm. See, I'm just getting that, you know, making that look nice because 
You don't want to just leave that hair right there. You want to get that. That way you can line it up. It look good. So we're going to start off lining his his 5 o'clock shadow. It's been growing, though, bro. I've seen this man come a long way, man. He just ain't had nothing on his cheek, man. I'm proud of him. You know, me and JP, boy, me and him, we go back. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how far we go back. I'm going to put a picture. First cut, probably like, what, 2021 in the basement, man. Pulling up, still pulling up on me, getting cut, man. Still getting chopped. It's a blessing to have people like this, man, in your life. Because we ain't even start off as friends, bro. Like, he really just came to me on some, you know what I'm saying? He getting his hair cut, bro. Yeah, shit, we just, that's why I'm saying, like, that's another reason why I like cutting hair, because it's just like you you meet people, bro, that you just needed to meet, bro. Like, <laughs> this is my dog right here. I just, I just, I'm so glad I started cutting her, man. I met so many good people, man. So many people that do so much stuff. You know, something it's inspiring, too. Now we got that razor work, man. We working that razor on my boy. Like I said, he going that little five o'clock. You know what I'm saying? He letting it grow out, so. Got to line it up for him. Like I said, I'm still working on getting the camera angles right and stuff, but I ain't gonna lie. Like, so far, this video been pretty smooth, man, with the camera angles, the camera work. You know, we just getting it all, you know, to the highest point. Ain't hating, you know, of course. Brush it off, go back in with it. And then give him a crispy little line. It's only gonna last for about two minutes. He got that five o'clock shadow, but... <laughs> We gonna start off with the line. We gonna, I mean, not start off. I'm tripping. We gonna go in with the liners, line them up. As you can see, sticking down. And right here, you can't really see, but I'm lining up. It's, it's a very light spot. You will see once I put the enhancements on. But yeah, it's pretty light right there. So you really can't see it until like you know, you can see it, but you can't you can't really see it. So you just gotta wait for the enhancements. So the enhancement is really for it, just to put your line in where it's supposed to be. You know? He been uh, he been out of town. He been going to Lord knows who. <laughs> and that's another thing, bro. When I, I don't get mad at my clients, cause sometimes I know I ain't available, man. So you know what I'm saying, just go to somebody who ain't gonna push you back, man. Go to somebody who gonna make my job easier when you come in next time. I ain't mad at you for going to somebody else, unless you just unless you go to somebody else. Cause I raise my price or something. You know, I just, as you can see, I always bag back. Just look at the line and straight on. I got to do that a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? I just try to match it up to the you know, the other side. So I'm going to step back as many times as I need to. And the only reason I'm doing that because I ain't got the mirror right now. But yeah, we're going to go in with my enhancements. And this is uh this is the spray I make. I make this spray. I'm about to start selling it real soon. But I try to go, I try to go real, you know what I'm saying? I just want to make his line and pop. So this is like a dark brown. This is one of my dark brown mixes right here. And then I go in with the fibers on top of it. You know what I'm saying? And just make it look like make it look like her instead of spray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, his, his haircuts always come out real nice. He always go get a reach with his dude. He's supposed to do. So yeah, man, he always come out with a nice haircut, man. Like, you take care of your hair, man. It's gonna look nice. Uh, honestly, come in with a fresh re retwist versus coming in. You ain't gotta get retwist every time, but man, you can't be coming in six months without a retwist. Boy, I'm damn near gonna cut one of them dreads off. <laughs> can't even see where they stop it. Yeah, man, as you can see, if I spread enhancements, I always go back with my liners. Make sure that I'm crisp. You see, we chopping it up, talking about, you know. <laughs> Talking about, man. Lord knows what we're talking about, man. We just be talking, bro. Yeah, man. So, on the enhanced other side, like I said, you're going to see what I mean by light spot. You're going to see when I enhance it. Got sprayed at an angle, too. Yeah, you see right there. Right now, it's like you can see it. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just like because I can't see because this video looks so small on my screen right now. But yeah, I wish I could have got it closer, man. I wish I got this closer, but you see, I go in with the fibers, and um, so sometimes the fibers, like, and then I be having a fan on in my room sometimes because, like I said, my sweet sometimes the sweet be getting a little hot. So like you can see right under the line, there's a little fibers right there, and it's sticky because of the uh, 
the, uh, not the oil sheen, cause the uh, spritz. So yeah, I always come get that later, but yeah, my fan be blowing it down sometimes. And yeah, so I don't even trip out that right now, you know, just trip off the cut. You know, being real delicate with the liners, I'm liner sharp. You know, light skin, niggas turn real red quick, you know. You can see I can cone the enhancements too and it don't come off. Like that's what happens when you when you you know when you put the oil sheen. I mean, dang, I keep saying oil sheen, the damn spritz on there, man. Like before the holding spray, look, now you gonna go ahead and spray your holding spray on there. My man's a, a rude wake up. Oh, that should be stinging if you know you know. Got good razor work, pulling out good razor on them. And the thing about the razor, what the razor do, bro, it just bring everything together, bro. Like, it just make it look so much crispier, closer to the skin. Like, you getting all of that little hair that may be there, you know. His, his hair, with, he had a little bit of hair right there. But not really, but just getting it all, pulling it all back to the line. Man. Pulling it all back to the line, man. Let me know if y'all fuck with the music too, man. I should start with instrumentals or something, man. Just let me know. You can see it looking real crispy, real, you know what I'm saying? My guy, right, man. It's my dog, man. He's been coming to me for about two years, man. I started in the basement. Always make sure I take care of the people who were there when I, when I first started, because I came a long way, man, for real. He know it. Everybody else know it. They seen it. I appreciate all the love. Just the cut. You know what I'm saying? Give my boy some oil sheen. I don't know what he talking about. We was running all day. <laughs> we was running all day. I don't know what he talking about. He looking pretty serious though. Whatever he talking about. He always be asking me to post his cuts and stuff. I'm like, bro, you gonna scare my client? You gonna scare my people away? Bro, you hella ugly. <laughs> yeah, as y'all can see, here we go with the cut. You know what I'm saying? Nice little low tape. Got my guy right, man. Come tap in, man. Clay looks on Instagram. King Clay main page. We get top, man. We at Chop Shop, man. Hazelwood, Missouri. Pull up. Gang. Oh,